kids and adults do put things in our ears, but kids also put things in other bizarre places, like this little boy named Isaac. About three years ago, Isaac started having nasal sinus congestion. He couldn't breathe very well when he was sleeping. <laughs> He never had temperatures, he never had any kind of infections, but he just had this congestion. We took him to just a handful of doctors who said, well, it's probably allergies or a sinus infection. There was a smell coming out of Isaac's nose. It was, it was really bad and strong, and, and it would come and go. My intuition kept telling me something's not right. Finally, after years of trying to manage this problem, we took him to a doctor who looked up his nose and just said, you know what, I think that there might be something in there. Well, there was something in his nose. After all, and Isaac and his parents, Craig and Emily, are here to tell us more about it. Welcome. Yeah, that's a, as doctors, that's one of the big clues that there might be something in there. If it's a pretty putrid smell coming out of the nose. And especially on one side. Mm -hmm, on one side. If we see that, that's sort of the red flag. Hey, Isaac, how you doing? Good. So, you see this thing? What is that? A big nose. That is a big <laughs> nose. Can you come up here and help me take a look at this big nose? Come on up here, buddy. So we're going we're gonna to show everybody what was in your nose, all right? So you're going to be my assistant. You want to put the gloves on? You could on? almost stick his head in that. Yeah, you could. Yeah. We're going to glove up here. Here's your other one. I think you, just, you could probably fit your whole body in this one glove here. I was about to say. Here, let's say. put the other glove on, ready? So let's go digging into that nostril and see what you find. All right? Can you get it? With your hand, you can just maybe, use your maybe hand. Maybe he moves around this way. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That what is what was in your nose, right? A big tire, and it was all filled with fungus. Ew. Dad, actually, you have the yeah. exact actually, yeah, the thing. Yeah, you want to see it. Yeah, let's take a look what they actually found. It was a little toy tire. And Isaac, do you remember putting this in your nose? No. Nope. No. Nope. But it had been in there for years. Yeah. And when the doctors finally found it, it was essentially encased in a little fungus ball, kind of like yep. this model here. Isaac, how did you get this in your nose? <laughs> we think what he did is folded it in half and just Stuffed it up there. And this is one, as a parent at home, if you have youngsters around, and again, you have that discharge from one side of the nose, it smells putrid. That means there's probably something in there mm -hmm. causing this nitus of yeah. an infection, and uh, it's worth taking a good look. Isaac, we're so glad you got the tire out of there, buddy. Yes. You're looking good. Thank you both so much. So, all right, buddy, I'll see you later. Okay, let's go. But you know, a couple tips. A couple tips for parents uh, at home. Uh, if, if sometimes a piece of candy may get stuck in there. Mm -hmm. uh, a hot, steamy shower can actually help start to melt that candy, and it'll almost just fall out. Good stuff. Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Sears.